Hey, what's up, Unbroken Nation? Now, here's what starts to happen. You start to look at the amalgamation of all these things and you realize if the community, this is where I'm going, I want you to pay attention. If the community that I want doesn't exist, I will build it. You have to understand this. I know this is a very long diatribe to the point, but I want you to understand this. You're not alone, but nobody is gonna come and knock on your door and be like, hey, by the way, we have this community. Now you can go and seek it. Now, very often you can find it, but sometimes you can't. And that was my scenario. So if I rewind 12 years ago, nobody was talking about this. Nobody was talking about child abuse. Nobody was talking about people overcoming it as adults, living their life, becoming the hero of their own story. And so I effectively said, I am going to build the community that I want to build because the community that I want doesn't actually exist. No one came to knock on my door and say, create Think Unbroken. No one came and knocked on my door, said coach people. No one came and knocked on my door, even at the beginning and said, hey, you should probably like do something about your fucking crazy life, dude, and get, you know, get into healing, get into education, get into learning. And so if you're in this position in your life right now, and I know this is, you, you hear this and I've, I've coached people through this and they go, yeah, well, I don't get it. Like, well, how do I find people? It's called the internet. Guys, it's called Google. You use it. Join Think Unbroken Academy. Join Unbroken Con. Listen to the Think Unbroken podcast. Become a part of this because the thing that will start to happen is you will find like either A, you will get the exact community and thing that you were seeking or B, if you're like me, you may get inspired to go and create your own thing, which I fully and entirely encourage and I will support and wholeheartedly. So that's kind of the way that this works. There is a very simple mechanism for creating the life that you want to have. And it simply starts with reverse engineering, reverse engineering the goal. What do you want? Get massive clarity about it. Can you find it without having to build it? Yes. Then go and join that and be a part of it. Can you not? No. Okay, cool. Go and build it and create it and make it what you want it to be. But you can't keep sitting here saying that you're alone. You can't keep sitting here and saying nobody gets it. You can't keep sitting here and being like, I'm struggling by myself in this dark corner. That's not true. It's just not true. Like at the end of the day, and I know people don't like to hear it. And I know someone's going to message me and be like, Hey, but you don't get my struggles. Like, yo, I get it. I get it. I was homeless as a kid. I was a drug addict at 12 years old. My mom kept my finger off. My parents beat the shit out of me. I had fucking all the learning disabilities that you can imagine. I struggled with massive debt and weight issues and drug abuse issues and all of the things that you can imagine. So I get it. And the only thing I'm trying to tell you here is that I'm just trying to help you understand how I did it. It may not work for you and that's okay. But at least if you can take some of this and apply it in your life, even in the most simplest frame of recognizing and understanding that you're not by yourself. That gives you a huge one up in the ability to continue to move forward in your life in a way that is not only practical, but is life affirming because to sit here and to be like, I'm by myself and I'm alone. You have to take some responsibility for that and understand that you are not putting yourself into a position to have community, to not be alone, to find the thing. Like if I were alone, I'll, I'll tell you right now, if I were by myself, completely miserable back where I was 12 years ago, I would do the same thing that I did. I would go and find a therapist. I would go and find a coach. I would go and volunteer. I would go and be of service. I would go to meetups. I would go to AA. I would go to support groups. I would go and do all the things to be around other people so that I didn't have to be alone. But you have to be willing to do that. You have to be willing to face the fact that you feel shame and guilt, that you feel like you're not supposed to do this, that you feel hurt. Because guess what? When you acknowledge those feelings, you can work through them. You cannot just always be complaining. You cannot always just be like, my life fucking sucks. Because I'm telling you, when I was like that and my life did suck, I acted like it. I existed like it. My life was a reflection of the narrative going through my head. And so the greatest thing that I can offer you, if I can give you anything today, is to change the narrative that you have about being alone and about suffering through these things without support and put yourself in a position to go and find it, right? Think Unbroken Academy, Think Unbroken Conference, Think Unbroken Podcast, the courses, the things we put together give you the ability to be a part of something. And if not there, then go and find it somewhere else. And if you can't find it somewhere else, build it and create it. But you cannot sit here in your life and go, I'll, I am alone, woe is me, because that is the ultimate fixed mindset. That is where you are going to stay stuck. 
Most people stay stuck in that space because they're terrified of the idea that they're allowed to be a part of something. And you got to let that go, my friend, because I believe that we all deserve to be a part of community. I believe that we all deserve to be a part of something bigger than us, that we all deserve to be a part of something that is fulfilling for us. And no one can take that from you except you. You have to remember you're not alone, but nobody's coming to knock on your door.